सो ही गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज़ योर बॉय ओजय शखरवाल सो आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो बिकॉज आई एम गेटिंग मैनी मैसेज ऑन लिंक इन इंस्टाग्राम व्हाट्सएप एंड मैनी पीपल आर रीचिंग आउट टू मी दैट हाउ इज दिस कोर्स दैट यू आर एनरोल्ड इन हाउ आर यू डूइंग इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड एवरी थिंग सो बेसिकली आई एम एन इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट हु इज करेंटली इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इन मेलबर्न एंड आई एम करेंटली एनरोल्ड एज post grad student in deakin university and pursuing master of business analytics from deakin business school which is a part of deakin university itself so basically uh, i have been getting many text uh, about what the course is requiring and how does it go and what is it about so basically i've got this uh, whole thing open on my desktop in front right now so master of business analytics first of all requires a little bit of coding it's not purely non technical which some consultants or some people can misguide you that uh, okay so this course is very into management so basically this falls uh, this course if you uh, go uh, on the krikos website so basically in india we have got cbse right cbse is a education provider so krikos is an education provider and it has accredited this uh, particular course in uh, it and business sector Uh, so basically, this is not just purely management uh, course offering from Deakin University. It also falls under IT, and it has got some technical uh, know-how in it. So basically, the tools that I'm going to tell about are also part of this uh, course. So let's dig deep into like how is the course and everything. So basically, uh, in order to complete a master's degree in Australia, you have to uh, complete around 16 credit points. and uh, after completion of 16 credit points you are eligible to go into your post graduation ceremony and ask for your degree from the university obviously so basically uh, for a uh, master of business analytics from deakin university you have got 16 units to complete out of which 11 sorry 12 units are core units so what are core units basically uh, deakin has got this very good system to offer so out of the 16 units uh, 11 12 units are those units which you have to do in order to graduate by getting a certificate of master of business analytics uh, i don't know if it makes sense but uh, uh, let me break it down it in a very simpler way so it has got 16 units in it out of 16 units if if from deakin university you want to get a degree of master of business analytics you will have to complete some units which particularly indicates that you have been graduated with this particular course so those units in this uh, course are 12 units so there are core uh, 12 core units for deakin deakin's master of business analytics for example if you are doing uh, data science from deakin so you'll have to complete around 15 credit points of that particular specialization and then you have to get one elective or one whatever unit you want to take so now coming back to our ba thing so for ba you have like 12 core units uh, the name of core units are available in the site i will be uh, mentioning this site uh, in the comment section of this video or in the description of this video i'm making this vertical video so that it can be very handy and anyone can just watch watch it so there are uh, like 11 units foundation skills and data analysis business intelligence and database value of information descriptive analytics and visualization predictive analytics decision modeling for business analytics machine learning in business real world analytics advanced ai for business cyber security strategies decision analytics and practice and there are two units out of which you have got a choice to opt one. there are two choices one is people analytics and the second is marketing analytics so this these all units combines to make your 12 unit of the course and rest of the four units you can pick any uh, unit from the deakins uh, post grad syllabus which you are el- eligible to take and you can just complete and finish off your degree so let me uh, just talk about these units real quick so foundation skills and data analysis is the most basic subject if even if you opt for mba international from deakin you have to complete this unit so this unit basically talks about excel and using a uh, very simple things like uh, 
uh, plotting charts, making tables, filtering and sorting of the data using just Excel and then making business report of the same thing. So this is not just the thing that it is not a very big thing to do. Uh, in this, you just use Excel and do very simple commands. Uh, there are some advanced commands, but not that much that you cannot learn. Uh, a course from any education provider like Coursera, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning can be a good thing to start with uh, Excel because I myself did that before. Uh, so FSD uh, or Foundation Skills and Data Analysis is a very good to do subject. The second comes is business intelligence and database and from here we talk about tools. So business intelligence and database includes Power BI which is uh, just like Word, Excel, Access of Microsoft, it is one of the softwares. So Power BI is just used for making visualizations, uh, importing the data from your CSV file or anything that you have. Uh, so Power BI is just the main tool for this unit, business intelligence and database. The next unit is value of information, which is the most, most amazing unit if you get a really good uh, unit chair. So when I did this unit like uh, a year ago in November 2022, at that time I had Peter Haddad as my teacher who taught value of information and he, he is such an excellent teacher. Uh, so value of information basically talks about uh, IT portfolio theory and like it talks about management it, the, it is the only subject which I've seen in my course till now which is purely management so it uh, is very theoretical and it requires you to uh, write business reports and just not play with the data but just to understand that okay if you have been given this sort of data you can understand how IT is used in this. So it, uh, value of information is one of the simplest units to do. Okay, so the next unit is descriptive analytics and visualization. Okay, so this is again something good. So what they do in some assignments of uh, descriptive analytics and visualization unit, they give you three assignments. Uh, two are Excel based. You have to do uh, data analysis and report writing simultaneously. Those should be uh, very proper, legit and it should not be anything that you can just write by yourself. You have to uh, provide proper evidences. For example, you have to use referencing. If you are writing some fact in the report, then you will have to uh, put references. For example, if you are uh, comparing uh, international students versus domestic students uh, studying in Deakin University, so you'll have to plot the graph and then refer the graph in that report that, okay, I have came to such such conclusion and for example international students are more than domestic so this is the visualization so like this uh, you go with this unit uh, there's a website building with this unit which is quite simple it is basically you're not making a report on a word document instead of that you're making the report on the website that they are wanting you to build so that is a quite moderate unit that you can do uh, the next unit is, uh, unit is predictive analytics. Then again comes a new tool in the business analytics world. It is called Rapid Miner, which I am doing right now. And it has been like three weeks, and I find this uh, unit to be okay to do. Like you get a new software to use, which is Rapid Miner, obviously again. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, the faculty is good, uh, the teachers are nice, so it's going to be fine till now. The next unit is decision modeling for business analytics. It is MIA775 guys. So basically uh, MIA775 is just the unit code for, the, uh, for this unit. Decision modeling for business analytics is one of the toughest units that I have came across in this postgrad syllabus. Uh, so decision modeling for business analytics just uh, requires you to build uh, decision making models. And it is again uh, the unit which is implemented or which uses Excel as a main software so this is uh, some this is uh, a unit in which you will require statistics like you will really require that you okay you know what is mean median mode and you so basically what people think is me uh, mode is just something which occurs again and again but there is some facts behind the thing that why it is called mode and how that can be used for data analysis and uh, predicting something and how, uh, for example, uh, this course, uh, this unit particularly, uh, decision modeling for business analytics, they wanted us to uh, make a decision model 
in which they have uh, given us like a uh, variable cost uh, and many cost and they want to predict something or they want to uh, optimize the model so it was like that and it really requires work to do so anyone who is a very 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 newbie uh, will need some effort to do that then the next is uh, machine learning in business so as the name suggests it requires python and there is no no to python uh, you will anyhow uh, have to do with the python a deal with the python using uh, Google Collab or any software that you want to use, but yeah, Python is required for this unit. The next unit comes is real world analytics. So as it says, real world analytics. So this unit is basically uh, based on R Studio, which is again a language, R language. So it is not that tough to do, but yeah, it requires work because the second assignment of this unit is something which requires time a lot. Uh, so real world analytics include uh, again a new software which is R language and it is not that advanced but you have to know some basics of R in order to complete this unit. The next unit is R advanced AI for business. Uh, I have personally not completed this unit yet because I am doing the prerequisite of this, these units. So basically what prerequisite means is if you want to do a C subject for example, C, A, B, C are name of subjects. So if you have to do a C subject and their A and B are prerequisite for the C subject, it means that you will have to complete A and B first in order to go for this C subject. So this C uh, advanced AI is the C subject. So I'm doing A and B right now and I, a C I will be doing in my next trimester, which is in T2 obviously. The next unit is cybersecurity strategies. Uh, this unit is what I'm doing currently, but I've got no idea of it because I've not started studying yet. And decision analytics and practice is the Cape Strong project for this course, which pretty much says that you will have to work with the industry. So this is all what we talked about uh, the core units, right? Now we have got four other units. So basically, if you go on this website that I will be quoting in description or comment box, you will uh, you can just go on specific specializations. And uh, so there are there are two alternatives for this. So what you can do, uh, does is uh, the four units that are remaining that uh, you can take a specialization. So there will be a cherry on top of, of your business analytics degree. So you can take a specialization, which again uh, includes four units. So after completion of that four units, you, uh, you have a bundle of master of business analytics with specialization in some, some field. Currently I'm planning to do uh, management consulting. Yeah. And I've taken one unit of that, but let's see how it goes. So I forgot to mention the other alternative that we can uh, take instead of taking a specialization in order to complete the master's degree. So the other four units you can take are the units which uh, Deacon provides like any four from the postgrad program of the Deacon for which you are eligible. So this is what uh, the course of business analytics looks like. Now, <clears throat> now coming to the PR perspective for this uh, course, I am an international student as of now. Uh, I've got one year of studies left and I have got no clue whether PR is confirmed or is not confirmed in this course. I've seen people who have got PR very easily after like th three years in this course and I've got people who are still struggling after five years, uh, they are not getting PR. So there are vast differences. So I cannot just comment on whether this course is the best to come for PR for, for getting PR in Australia. The another uh, question that arises is whether this course is easy to do. So I am being very honest. Uh, this course is not at all very easy to do. If you know some mathematics, if you know statistics, if you, so if you have read 9 to 12th uh, grade with mathematics background, then it will be really uh, good for you. For me, it is uh, okay because I have also done my bachelor's in mathematics honors. So it was like a cherry on top to help this subject of mine yeah so that's pretty much it about the course coming to Deakin University uh, I personally am very uh, proud that uh, I have got this opportunity to be a part of Deakin University 
because uh, the Deakin University is ranking uh, is really appreciating its ranking year by year. If you see that Q QS World ranking. Also, they are uh, other competitor of the university, uh, Deakin University. I won't take the names. They are also doing better. But the thing is, uh, overall uh, interface, uh, overall Deakin Sync, the website that the guys give us, the interaction with the teachers, the facilities that they guys are providing, Deakin is really mastering it. And it is uh, since we have got Geo8 universities in Australia. So Deakin is a very uh, new university which is found around, which was found around 1960s or 70s. But uh, in comparison to old universities also, it is progressing a very, very quick, uh, very quicker way, in a very quicker way. So this is what I have to tell about this uh, unit. If you guys have any doubt regarding the same, you can just uh, drop down a comment or you can just, I'll mention my Instagram on it or LinkedIn, you can just give me a message. Also about the fees, the fees of this unit, uh, of this course is around 80 to 85,000 dollar, Australian dollar. You can convert it in your uh, own currencies and do it. And also you can get a uh, vice chancellor scholarships and there are many things if you go on Deacon's website, I'll quote that uh, website again. And you can go on that website and uh, see which suits you the best. The only key point that I'll say in the end of this video is, and I don't want to uh, intentionally hurt or point out anyone. But the thing is, once you decide to study abroad, just don't go with a suggestion which a random guy comes and gives to you. Because it's your life decision to take on. Uh, for example, for me, Master of Business Analytics, it was my decision to go. Yeah, some people did suggest me, but I did my own research and everything. And then I took this big decision because 75, 80,000 is not a very small amount, even for a uh, well creamy family. So it is something which you must uh, think of before uh, finalizing. Master of Business Analytics is really a good course business analyst or BA are really high in demand occupation everywhere across the world because you need optimization for your business, right? You want to make more profit, you want to make less losses. So that is it. Uh, hope you. Uh, I hope that you guys like the video and I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.